Oh, what, did you catch me? What is up, guys? <laughs> Would you relax? <laughs> All right, well, figured it's time to make a video of you. You're due, you're next. <laughs> I know, hi, Taruk. You're a nut job. <laughs> hi, Taruk. You're crazy. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. Hi, girl. You're nuts. You are out of your mind. Yeah, I know. You're crazy. <laughs> so, today they'll be. So, today, <laughs> I got the day off. I need to clean these cages. It's been, I don't know, four days since I've cleaned the cage. Maybe five days, okay? Figure this is a great video to make about birds. People are always like, oh yeah, your bird is awesome. She's so sweet. She's this, she's that. Yeah, she is amazing. She's one of my favorite animals that I have. But she is also one of the most work out of all the animals that I have. She's definitely the most work. She's out of her mind. What are you doing? Get off the blinds. Hey, Taruk, don't do that. Hey. No blinds. Don't do it. They destroy everything. In case you didn't know, your birds will eat your whole house if you let them. Everything. They don't care. They'll destroy it. Every morning, it's in the middle of the day now, but every morning I wake up, I take her out of her, relax. I take her out of her nest, it's out of her cage, her bedtime cage, nest, whatever the hell you want to call it. I gotta clean that out too. It's disgusting, filled with down feathers everywhere. I take her out, I let her fly around the house. I let her fly around the house, give her some food, give her her breakfast, play with her for a little bit every morning, give her that attention and play time that she wants. And then when I have to work and do stuff, I put her in her play cage. She stays in there for the rest of the day. Hey, you leave Ronnie alone. Hey. Don't pick on Ronnie. Look at this. She literally will, she will crawl down on the floor and she will chase the cat. She will chase the cats. She'll just straight up. You be nice to the cat. Hey, you be nice to them. Don't you bite my feet. What are you doing? Oh, so she's out of her mind. And she does this, she does this thing now. I gotta. She does this thing now. I gotta ah. train her to not do it. She hasn't done it yet. Ah. So she does like this pinching thing now, where ah. she just like grabs my arm and just does these little pinches ah. everywhere. She'll do it on wherever she is. Ah. Your shoulders, your hands, your fingers, whatever. She does this little pinching game thing where she just pinches you and she thinks it's hilarious. Ah. She laughs about it. She's like, <laughs> you think it's hilarious? Ah. I don't know what's so funny. Hi, Taru. Yeah, she's just in a crazy mood lately. She's super hyper. And her diet has <laughs> been way different lately, too. She doesn't even have sugar. Before, she doesn't have sugar. Oh, crazy. Oh, my stutter. She doesn't even, she does, that's hard to say with a split tongue. She doesn't even have sugar anymore in her diet at all, really. Every now and then we'll give her a grape as like a treat or something or a banana or something. But for the most part, she eats her regular parrot diet food, pellets, and then we give her beans, um, what? Peppers, stuff like that. She's out of her mind. You are a psychopath, okay? Yeah, I get it. And they poop everywhere. So, not, not everywhere. Thankfully, she only poops on her person for the most part. But it's still very messy. Look at this. This is just like poop and pieces of wood because these these uh her little wood toys right here <laughs> destroys them. Hey, get off of the blinds. <laughs> Day. You get off of the blinds. You psychopath. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Don't. You are crazy. You're out of your mind. You're crazy. She's a psycho. 
All right, well, so we gotta clean this cage. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. This cage I got on Amazon. I don't think they sell it on Amazon anymore. It sucks because it was 500 bucks and it's great. I've had it for over a year now. It hasn't fallen apart, paint's still on it. We're good to go. Easy to clean. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna clean this cage. I'm gonna show you guys how I do everything. And this right here, talk about her a little more. And the joys of owning a parrot. It's so much fun, it's awesome. I have so much free time now to do all sorts of things. My neighbors love me. It's great. So, watch. So, all right, see how good that works? Boom, look. Jack stands up off the ground. Now, I gotta get the perch out and just clean up this whole floor area. I crumple up these things, throw them away, put new ones down. Super easy to do. I get these rolls, huge at Home Depot. It's like five bucks a roll, cheap. All right, that's that. This cage, clean, new pads down there. Gotta change that every four or five days, once a week tops. This cage, nice and clean. See the paper, super easy to do. I just tuck it underneath, I tuck it underneath the corners of all the cages, so that way it stays under the cage, everything stays inside. Perch, boom. Pretty simple setup. Perfect way to do it. Cheap, this paper, like I said, comes in a roll like this. Really cheap. Let's go get this troublemaker. She's out here driving Kayla crazy. Where are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah. Hmm? You crazy bird. What? Playing with Ronnie. What are you doing? Don't you go bite me. Get out of here. You get out of here, you little troublemaker. Oh, lots of work, guys. So if you're thinking about getting a macaw, you got to keep a lot of things in mind. Or pair it just in general. It is a lot of work. So if you're thinking about you're thinking about getting a bird or getting a macaw, just have a kid. It's way easier. Way easier. A human baby is way easier than dealing with this little fire chicken every day. Kids are gonna. Take yeah, kids, you know, you put them down to sleep, they take naps, they learn how to wipe their own butts, they put on their shoes, they're gonna go to school one day, they're gonna learn how to drive a car one day, they're gonna get a job one day, they're gonna move out of your house, things are gonna be great. This is a two-year-old for the rest of your life. This is, yeah, exactly, this is a two-year-old for the rest of your life. She's out of her mind, okay? Out of her mind, look at her. She's just crazy mode all the time. And she's almost two, She'll be two in probably like, I don't know, maybe like four or five more months, she'll be two. So she's about to go through this terrible two phase. I'm gonna have to have Dave from Bird Tricks come over here. He's coming over soon to set something up because we gotta do this training thing because it's getting to the point where like, she just plays so much. She's doing this thing where she flies onto you and she does this little pinching thing. It and it, it, yeah, it hurts. Like it's not, it's, it's not, not fun. fun. <laughs> it hurts. It's crazy, but she's obviously playing but it she hurts, man. Too. Yeah, she does it to Ronnie, she does it to everybody. She's out of her mind. You're crazy. I know, would you relax? She's such a crazy bird. Look at him. Hi. Relax. Crazy. So keep that in mind. That's the Taruk video for you. She's crazy. Hi Taruk. A lot of work. You can't just leave your bird home all day. Look at the press. They'll pluck, they'll pluck the feathers. Very sensitive animals. They need lots of attention. They gotta fly too. Her wings are finally getting totally grown back in. She broke a bunch of feathers off. But now, you're looking good, look at that. She flies around the house all the time. 
chases the cats, the cats chase her. Time for you to go back in your cage. I gotta, I gotta get back to work. I gotta do more stuff. I gotta clean more cages. Story of my life. Boop, boop, come on, let's go. Let's go, Troublemaker. Get over here. Come on, step up. She knows I'm putting her back. She's like, no, Dad, come here. Don't hide yourself. Turn around. Hey, you. Alright, that's it. You gotta go back in your cage. Hi, Taruk. So, she's flying good. As long as you got a treat. Even in the morning, she'll fly. If you if you don't have anything, she'll fly right to me when I call her name. Hello. Oh, you're crazy. You're in like hyper mode right now. You are in hyper mode. They're wild. Literally, two year old for the rest of your life right here. She's constantly doing something crazy. Getting in trouble. You can't leave them in their a room by themselves. You always have to watch them. Always, always, always. If I go into, if I go into my room for a second, I come back out here, she's eating the cat tree. The other day, she flew on top of the reef tank. She, she was like, oh, water. Let's drink it. Starts drinking it. Then she starts gagging all over the place because she just drank salt water. She didn't realize it was salt water. That's the last time she did that. Now she knows she won't even fly onto the fish tank anymore after that. She's like, no, nah, not that is disgusting. Would you relax? Well, you know I have another one? Fine, I'll give you another one. But other than that, she just flies back and forth between her perch. Sometimes she flies on the couch. She flies onto the back of my chair when I'm trying to edit videos. Wild. Back in your cage. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Think twice before you buy a bird. Make sure that you guys have a time. If you guys work a nine to five, something where you're gone all day, it's gonna not be a good pet for you guys. You have to dedicate so much time to them. Lucky for me, I'm a tattoo artist, I own a tattoo shop, super easy. I call the shots, I get to hang out with her as much as I want. Right? <coughs> Crazy bird, let's go back in your cage. See you later guys, peace out. <sighs>